Hey, the Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today I'm going to be showing you this VJoy Car uh, GPS HUD device. So, three, two, one, let's get at it. Alright, guys, so this was sent to me by the VJoy Car Company, and um, they wanted me to test it out and see what I could do with it. Uh, you know, I really wasn't actually sure what it was when they asked me about it, and I didn't do any research, so I got it, I charged it up, and I took it out and I tested it. But let's break it out of the box here, um, and let me show you what they sent me here. Of course, I've already had it out, and I've already used it. Um, you know, you got your standard USB charging cable, got a little sticky, uh, it's not a suction cup, it's a little sticky mount to stick to your dashboard. Your instructions, which I have read, and uh, your little VJoy car GPS HUD device. Okay, so you can put it on here, and it'll snap in like that. And you pull that, take it, take it out. Um, it's pretty lightweight, guys. I mean, it feels very, very light, uh, very toyish, like very plasticky. Uh, this is pretty rinky dink here. I wouldn't put a whole lot of pressure on it. You might break it. Uh, let's be honest, it's not that expensive. I think um, they're selling it for somewhere around 20 bucks on Amazon.com. If you're interested in it, I'll throw a link in the description of the video. Just click on the show more under the video and you'll see the, the, the link there. Um, so after I've tested it, let me just tell you, all it is is, is is a speedometer. It is a digital speedometer. They call it a HUD or whatever. It's just basically a speedometer, okay? Um, why would you need something like this? Well, you know, sometimes your car speedometer goes out or it's so out of calibration um, that, uh, you know, you can't really trust it. You know, that I've had many cars that had uh, that speedometers that either didn't work right or were really out of calibration and I didn't trust them. And I ended up using uh, something like my, my Samsung Galaxy uh, smartphone for a, uh, you know, a, a speedometer so I didn't get a ticket and stuff like that. This is what this thing is for. It's basically to replace your car's speedometer. It's a cheap alternative to getting your speedometer fixed. You know that speedometers are hard to fix uh, because they've got the odometer on there that keeps the total miles. And, and it, you, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you trouble you can get into trying to fix your speedometer if the main unit is broken and it's not separable from the main dashboard system or the panel. Uh, so here's a $20, $20 solution to that. Um, and you can, you know, put it up there. And here's the thing is, it does work. I tried it out. It does work. It's nothing to write home about, but it does work. Let me see here. Okay, so I've ran, I ran the cord, uh, the USB charging cable over here to my laptop. Let me go ahead and just plug it in, give it some power. I get this on here right. And we see that the unit immediately powers up. And what it's doing right now is searching for GPS. Now, I'm inside the house, so it's not going to actually pick up much GPS signal in here, so it may never get calibrated there. But essentially, you turn it on, and when you start moving, it just shows you your speed. There's really nothing else to it. Um, it has some calibration techniques you can use if it's not exactly accurate. I tested it, tested it on my uh, Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Uh, there is a uh, speed. There is a speedometer app, and it was not exactly the same, but it was within one mile of being the same uh, as what my smartphone, my Samsung Galaxy smartphone, was saying. So it was good. It was a little slow on um, adjusting. So when I sped up real fast, or 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 decelerated really fast, um, there there was a little bit of a lag. I would say maybe a one to two second lag between what was actually my speed and it catching up to it so it does function a little slow but other than that it really is a reliable speedometer and if it's not totally perfect calibrated they do have a mechanism by which you can use the buttons to calibrate it uh, bottom line it is a very low cost solution to a broken speedometer on your car and you can just leave it on there and it will show your speed and you won't get a ticket um, and that's about all there is to it. So, okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later.